Hi, welcome to this video today, which is all about a trading tool, an indicator, which I consider essential to look at in terms of my trading strategy each week. Now, it is totally free for anyone to use. Yeah, if I was asked to pay a few thousand dollars for it, I'd have no hesitation doing so. Why? Because it's just so valuable to me. Over the years, it's helped me spot high odds turning points in the markets and also given me the confidence to ride some really big trends. So what is the tool? The tool is the COT, the Commitment of Traders Report, issued by the CFTC. Now, in terms of the report, you can use it as a backup to your charts. Um, it will reinforce chart formations to you. I mean, it will filter out the best ones. It will also give you an idea of how far trends might run. Now, in terms of my weekly Forex forecast, I very often mention the CFTC net traders, mentioned it a few times this week. What I'm going to do in this video is just give you a few examples of how the CFTC report help me make the last Forex forecast or come up with my trading decisions. So first of all, what I want to do is just give you a brief view of the report and a brief introduction to how we use it. And then I'm going to be back in a more detail to discuss it. And then I'm going to show you some charts with the CFTC net traders and how they reinforced the chart formation. So just a quick intro to the CFTC net traders and then I'll be back to discuss in more detail and give you some examples of how powerful a tool it really is. Here is a sample pair from the report Euro GBP. I've highlighted one group in red, non-commercial. They hold over five times as many longs as shorts, so heavily bullish. On the other side, we have the commercials. Well, the opposite view, they have three times as many shorts as longs, so bearish. Now, this divergence between the groups is very important. I'm just going to summarise the CFTC report generally and discuss why the divergence is important, and I'll be back to discuss. I'll come back after that short intro there to the CFTC net traders. Now, what we want to see is uh, non-commercial speculators heavily long or short in one direction opposed by the commercials. Now, I just want to mention uh, the group, the non-reportable group, the small speculators. I don't consider that group so important. You know, it's a very small group. It's a very diverse group. Uh, if it's going with uh, the non-commercials, the large speculators, that adds a little bit of weight. But I tend to discount that group, just too small and diverse. Now, in terms of you know my trading history, uh, I've seen the commercials 
get every major turning point right. Um, now, in terms of uh, them getting every major turning point right, you might be thinking, well, let's just follow the commercials. Well, we can't do that. Um, there's a reason why. We can't just go in and just follow the commercials. Because what we've got to keep in mind is they are hedgers. They are never losing money. They're just going against the cash. So they're hedging their cash in. Okay, so they could be wrong for a little while when a currency overshoots. Um, and it doesn't hurt them, but of course it will hurt us. So what we have to do is use our charts in conjunction uh, with the net traders' reports. Now, in terms of um, yeah, my forecast I did this week, I'm just using it as an example. It's not the perfect week for using the net traders. It's not the worst week. So what I want to do now is give you some examples of uh, the net traders and how I use them with my charts and for the purposes of illustration what I'm going to do today is um, I'm just going to use a 20 day moving average and yeah I normally use a couple of indicators uh, RSI stochastic I'm going to use the um, MACD today MACD sorry today uh, reason I'm going to use the MACD is anyone who uses indicators it's the most popular one um, but what we'll do now is we'll just look at a few charts I'm just going to explain uh, how the CFTC net traders backed up my technical view and allowed me to get some what I consider to be really good high odds entries. So here's the examples and then we'll be back to sum up. Right, first chart is AUD USD and you can see a note at the top of the chart there. I'd spotted uh, the commercials and speculators having a big divergence, speculators buying heavily, commercials selling, and it was an eight-month extreme. So when that triple top formed, keen to get in, uh, came in at 77.70. Now, prices obviously moved down nicely, and I've drawn in the 75 support level. And, you know, at the time, I wanted to know if that support level uh, was basically going to give a good breakout to the downside or whether it would be a failed breakout. So that's where last week's net traders uh, were important to me. And looking at the positions, I can see uh, that the uh, non-commercial speculators are still holding twice as many longs as shorts, despite the fact they got hits on the turn. And they've actually added 16,250 long contracts in. So they're trying to buy the dip. Commercials, on the other hand, uh, are short um, by three to one. And basically what they're doing the opposite of the speculators. Uh, they're adding to their shorts. They put in 13,740. So that, to me, signifies that I can hold um, with confidence and that the downtrend should continue. And of course, we move down towards the 72 level, another uh, 300 pips. So that's giving me the confidence. I've already had a decent profit coming into the 75 level. It gives me the confidence to hold. Now, still plenty of potential on the downside, in my view. Uh, yeah, we've got a target there of 69 uh, chart lows. However, yeah, from the longer term perspective, when I'm looking at my weekly, monthly charts, I've got 65 as the ultimate objective. So net traders here allowed us to get in at a, a great turning point and have given us the confidence to hold uh, up the trade on the way down. So for us, um, you know, I'm sure everyone who watches us regularly knows that we love the short side of the Aussie dollar. Uh, what we can do now, of course, is we can just tuck our stop in, uh, lock in a profit. And normally we're putting it behind the 20-day moving average. 20-day moving average will normally act as resistance in a downtrend or support in an uptrend. So hopefully this one goes to target. All right, let's move to the next chart. All right, now we have a USD JPY chart. Now before I discuss the chart, I just want to discuss how the net traders are presented by the CFTC. And you'll see them on the chart and it's Japanese Yen VUSD. Uh, in terms of the CFTC net traders, they always have the foreign currency first. Obviously, we're trading USD JPY. Now, in terms of the chart itself, what really interested us was the two big red candles down in May. And that corresponded uh, with the biggest net long yen position 
of speculators since 1992. So the speculators going yeah, heavily uh, long the yen and short the dollar. Okay, and you see obviously a big fall down. I looked at the CFTCs at the time, and you can see the commercials are going the other way. They're selling the yen and buying the dollar. So what we were going to do? Uh, just wait for signs of the bottom. Look around the 106 level. We got in 106.40. We see the MACD trigger line turns up as well, and basically got long. Now, in terms of the CFTC uh, report I've got on this chart. It was important to us. It's the next one out. We want to see how the positions have changed. Well, they haven't changed that much. Uh, Non-commercials still very bullish of the yen, uh, nearly three times as many longs as shorts. On the other side, commercials still short the yen. I obviously bullish the dollar, uh, holding twice as many short yen positions as longs. Now that's important to us because you can see the 20-day moving average where prices stall. Yeah, you know, the 20-day moving average very often acts as resistance in an uptrend or support in a downtrend. So is this resistance going to hold or break? Well our reading of that report uh, we basically are going to hold. We see more upside and basically what we got is a pop above the 20-day moving average and now hopefully it's going to run on to target. Uh, regardless of what happens in this trade, we can still come out with a profit. Uh, we're just going to tuck our stop behind those five sideways candles. Or is it six? Six sideways candles, apologies. Uh, but hopefully we run to target. So another nice opportunity allowing us to get in right at the turn and having the confidence to hold it through a level of resistance. Okay, the final chart, Euro GBP. What you'll notice on this chart is uh, we had a peak in March and a really nice run down into the end of April. And basically, you then see the market rally up as we come into May, uh, rallying back to resistance. And you'll see I've got a resistance line and the 20 day moving average there. Now, as I've said, you know, in a downtrend, uh, yeah, basically that 20 day moving average will act as a level of resistance. So we want to know is it going to act as a level of resistance on this chart? Well, CFTC net traders are going to give us clues. We can see uh, in terms of non commercial speculators holding five times as many longs as shorts. Commercials oppose them, holding nearly four times as many shorts as longs. Now, we came in on the first poke back below the 20 day moving average. It doesn't break for us straight away, but we're quite confident holding this one. You can see we go sideways and then we snap through the average. We hit our first target at 77. And now we think we will run on down to support. Now, this just uh, is another example of how the CFTC net trade just adds weight to the chart. Yeah, it gives you clues into where prices might go. And uh, this one, so far, so good. So that completes the three examples. I'll come back after those uh, three examples of how to use uh, the Commitment to Traders report uh, with your charts. You can see a very useful tool in helping you isolate high odds entry points, also giving you the confidence to hold the big trends. Now, in terms of uh, those three trades, you can see why I would pay thousands of dollars for it if it wasn't free. There's nearly a thousand pips on those three trades alone. So a very valuable tool. Now, in terms of um, the CFDC net traders, you actually find them reported on Reuters each week. And what they do is they always report what the speculators are doing. They never ever mention what the commercials are doing. Uh, what the speculators are doing on their own doesn't matter. You know, it has to be seen in association with what the commercials are doing. You need to see those divergences. One point I'd make is I've got no problem trading with the speculators. Um, you know, the only time I get weary of trading with the speculators is if the commercials really oppose them on the other side with a big position. That's a warning sign for me. Uh, but yeah, I'm quite happy to trade you know, in the same way as the speculators as well. Now, in terms of um, you know, the, the report, I would strongly urge you to go read it. Um, basically get used to the different ratios that exist in different currencies and, and the way the commercials and speculators 
change their positions to get a feel for if a currency is over or undervalued. Of course, you can read my weekly report as well. Uh, but a, a very valuable tool. It's an underrated tool for sure. Um, I would see it as probably one of the best indicators around. And yeah, you know, you're getting the opportunity to track smart money. The commercials are definitely smart money in my view. Uh, they're always right at those big turning points. That will never ever change. They're not motivated by greed, they're not motivated by fear, they're just hedgers hedging a cash position. On the other side, the funds, they are always going to hold trends too long and they're always going to get it caught out at the turning point. So we need to basically go with the commercials but make sure we use our charts and employ good money management because as I've said uh, the commercials can be wrong when a currency overshoots. They're not losing any money. So tight money management is always needed. But uh, yep, I can't I'll just say again, a wonderful tool. Uh, I hope you uh, yeah, go and explore CFTC Net Traders for yourself. Uh, that over the years made me uh, a lot of money, uh, got me some great trends, and I'm sure they can do the same for you. So as per usual, thank you for watching this video, and uh, I'll speak to you soon.